Well, hello, my name's Tim DeWire. How are you doing? Just want to have a quick chat to you today about our constitution. Malcolm Turnbull and uh, supposedly a whole bunch of other people, um, they want us to become a republic. Now, there's a couple of things here. I, I encourage everybody to have a look around the world and look at a republic model that you would like to live under. Uh, I haven't found one, um, but you might. Um, but have a look at it. But let me explain to you why I'm doing these little videos. I'm going to do a few of these, I think. See this book here? This is the Anatotic Constitution of the Australian Commonwealth. This is our constitution. Most people don't know that this exists. And the reason they don't know it exists is it's now illegal to teach this in our schools. This is our constitution. This is the framework of our parliament the framework of our nation and the government has made it unlawful to teach this in school. Heaven help the government if the people of this nation knew how powerful they were with this book in their hand and how they could hold the government to account and rein them in. Let's have a little bit of a look, see here, right up in the beginning, I'll show you this. Won't show it too good, this is a pretty poor camera. But this is the preamble of the Constitution. And this is on page 286. And it's talking about where the actual power of the government sits. Who has the power? Where, where's the seat of power? And they're talking about how the states and their constitutions have power. And then as the states are formed into a union of the Commonwealth, then the Commonwealth has the power. This is what's in our constitution. It says, this opinion approaches near the truth, but does not reach it. For the truth is, the supreme, absolute and uncontrollable authority remains with the people. Now, it says here, I mention also that the practical recognition of this truth was reserved for the honour of this country. I recollect no constitution founded on this principle. Did you hear those words? Those words said that we have the supreme, absolute and uncontrollable authority remains with us. Not the parliament, not the government, not Malcolm Turnbull, not the Senate. You and I, the people, and we sit mute. Oh, well, the cricket's on. Oh, well, the footy's on. Oh, well, the cooking show, the dancing show, the all whatever show's on. People, don't complain by having your nation sold out from under you. Don't complain because your children don't have jobs. Don't complain because you don't have the standard of living you thought you were entitled to if you choose to remain ignorant of how much power you have and how to use it correctly, right? don't complain. If you don't want to know, fine, but don't complain. This book is not difficult to read. It is extremely difficult, however, these days to get your hand on it. Uh, this is my second one. I wore out the first one. But let me show you something else up the back up here. Um, now I've lost my page. Um, I'll get up here. Section 110, I'm looking for section 116. Here it is. Section 116. Now, it basically deals with religion. So nobody really particularly wants to um, read that, I guess, these days. Some do. But this is on page 952, right? 952. And it says here that the federal parliament is a legislative body capable only of exercising enumerative powers. Its powers are determined and limited by actual grants to be found within the Constitution. Anything not granted to it is denied to it. You have got no idea how far out of bounds of this document that the governments, not just this government, the governments for the last probably four decades, maybe five decades, have been outside of this, stripping you of your rights, your freedoms, tearing down our common wealth, common meaning you and I, and we are the quasi-crown. 
don't get confused with the Queen. The Queen has very little or nothing to do with this. Don't let the government bully you into saying, oh, yes, we'll save all this money by not having the British Crown represented in our Commonwealth. Listen, let me explain something to you. Yeah. What do you think it's going to cost to become a republic? We have to change every federal piece of paper to say the Republic of Australia. We're going to have to change the currency to say the Republic of Australia. We're going to have to change all the international documents, everything else. It will cost billions. And do you think Malcolm Turnbull and his banker friends and all those high rollers are going to say, don't worry about it, we'll put our hand in our pocket, we'll pay for it? <laughs> no, no, no. Who do you think is going to pay for it again? Muggins. I call our government the Bohica governments. I don't care whether Liberal or Labor, they're Bohica. And you're going to say, what the heck is Bohica? Every time they come up with some brain fart, it says to you and I, bend over, here it comes again. Bohica. I'll leave you with that thought.